Hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial by No Code Africa. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, implement uh, recover password functionality in your application, right? So if at all you're building a mobile application, uh, it is actually considered best practice that you include forget password functionality in your application, right? So that your users who might at some point forget their password can actually recover the password without having to of course reach out to you <laughs> so uh it's a very simple process and i'm going to take you through the entire process all right so let's say um for this particular application right uh let's say i want to sign into uh this account like my account in this app i will just go ahead and then type my uh, email and then put my password and then click on sign in and it will usher me into the, the the application right so I can click on log out to log myself out but what about in a scenario whereby I actually forgot to uh, you know put in the correct email like I can't remember my password okay so let's say I put a wrong password here and then I click on sign in it to tell me the password is invalid or the user does not have a password okay so uh, that is the main reason why you need to have a forget or forgot password uh, functionality in your application so let's dive right into it and see how we can implement it meanwhile if you have issues or you don't know how to set up uh, login and sign up and log out functionality in your application using Flutterflow and Firebase uh, check the description in this video and you will see a link to uh, a tutorial that can help you with this All right, let's get straight to this one now. This is the the Flutterflow dashboard and um, this Particular tutorial is not completely begin beginner friendly because I am making assumptions that you already know how to uh, do a couple of things and you have been able to understand how to even create the login sign up and log out functionality in your application okay so what you just need is you need to go ahead and create a page for recover password so I have already set up the page for recover password like this okay so uh, and then the next thing you need to do is you already have a login uh, login uh, screen so if at all you don't have this forget forgot password you need to go ahead and add it so you can click on column click on this and then go to the widget tree and then click on add a child to these widgets and then add a text to it okay so you add a text you do the formatting change the color and then you have this the next thing you need to do is you have created this particular page so you need to go ahead and then link this particular uh, text widget as make it like a, a button clickable that means when the user clicks on this it will take the user to the other screen for recovering of password so how can you implement that you can just click on this and go to uh, action and then add action and make it navigate on tap navigate to recover password all right so i'm just going to delete this and then we can start it all over again so let me go to recover password as well and take off a couple of things. Let me delete the action that we have here so we can start it all over again. Okay, so this is just like a basic screen. Nothing is happening. This particular button, there is no action added to it. If you come to the login screen, uh, this is just uh, a normal text widget. So we're going to add an action to it. The action that we're adding here is a navigation action. So you click here to add an action. And then on tap so we're going to navigate to recover password that's all so after you've done that you are finished with that particular process you come to recover password and uh, I'm making an assumption that you've already set up this page okay so after you've set up this page what you need to do is go ahead and click on the uh, this particular text field all right so this is a text field and then go ahead and rename your text field make it unique let it be uh, email address recover or R capital letter R so that you can easily differentiate it when you're looking for it okay so then the next thing you also do is the same text field click on it come here 
under the conditional under the properties here you just scroll down you're going to look for the the keyboard type okay so keyboard type if you click on this it might have been text or any other thing just make sure that it's email address if it's text it will still work but just leave it at email address okay so then the next thing you need to do is come here to the button itself and then we need to add an action to the bottom it's a very simple action it won't take a lot of time so you click this and then click add action and then uh, in this scenario we're going to be doing firebase authentication and we will be doing reset password so you click on reset password it will require you to choose the email field so you click on it and then choose your email address recover which is the name of the text field here and that is all guys that is how to set up your uh, recover password functionality in your Flutterflow project now let's go ahead and test this and see don't forget I've forgotten my password to my application and then I need to go ahead and, and test it so if I come back here all right so I, I try to sign in it says uh, the password is invalid I can click on forgot password it brings me here and I can go ahead and then put my email address and click on send link it will say password reset, reset email sent. I have to go to my email uh, and then you see here, reset, reset your password for project this. I'll click on it and this is the most recent email. Then I'll click on this. Uh, your request reset has expired. Okay, this is the old one. So I'll click on this one and then it says reset your password for no code Africa at gmail.com so I'll just type in my password and then I'll click on save you can now sign in with your new password as simple as ABC so I can now go ahead and come back here and then re return back to my login screen type my email and then put my new password and sign in and guys i am now able to have access to my application that is how to set up your uh recover password functionality for your flutterflow project if you enjoyed this video please just give us a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button drop a comment if at, if at all you have any issue and i'll be sure to check it out and see how i can offer assistance to you thank you very much see you in the next video